Hey, what's going on YouTube? Doing another live video. I installed a fireplace in the truck. Um, it's kind of burning out a little bit. I gotta go outside and go get some more wood for my fireplace. It's a wood fireplace and uh, <laughs> it's going to the gatekeeper. What's going on Paul? <laughs> what kind of wood are you using? Uh, I'm using a very special um, Wisconsin wood, uh, punky wood, um, came from the Punky Brewster Rainforest up in Wisconsin. It's a very special type of wood that'll burn for approximately eight hours. Um, it's very, you know, very good wood. Um, <laughs> Hold on a sec here. Nah, I just we installed that lock box on my on the truck, so I'm running running my electric heat with my you know um, top of the evening ice blue. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Yeah, I'm just running my electric heat here. It's about 20 degrees. And as you can see, I'm in my t-shirt and my jeans, and it's very, very comfortable. Um, I'm liking this setup. I can barely hear the generator. I chained it to the front bumper, and um, I'm going to, once I go, before I go to bed, excuse me, before I go to bed tonight, you need a blanket and a glass of wine, and you're all set. <laughs> Need a book? I can, I can curl up and like it. Hold on a minute. I can curl up in a ball with my with my blanket. This is actually a sweater, but my blanket and I'm gonna pretend this is a bottle of wine. And yeah, I could do that. Hey, what's going on, Chris? Uh, I am in Wisconsin right now. Ice. Uh, I forget the name. Some weird name. I can't. I can't get the name. Um, <laughs> I didn't spell that right. He spelled dumb, dumb cone. <laughs> That's great. <coughs> But yeah, this is this is my heat source for the night, and it's very, very comfortable in here. I got my, you know, my toes warm, my toes up, and uh, very, very comfortable. So, if you're in a truck, van, semi, you do not need to idle your truck or vehicle. Get a Wabasto. Get um, I don't know a Lempian Wave or a heater buddy. Just make sure you have adequate ventilation, or just get a generator and electric heat if you can. Give a closer shot of it of the uh, hold on a sec here. Yeah, this is just a this is just an electric heat it has uh, two settings. I think fourteen. Was it 1400 watts or 1200 watts and 900 watts? Whatever it is, it's nothing, nothing, you know. It's cranking out the heat though. It's nice and toasty in here. Like I said before, it's about 20 degrees. It'll be about 20 degrees later on. I think it's in the eh, 20 something, 30 maybe, dropping down into the 20s tonight. So, yeah. Um, if you're gonna be running a truck, I see these guys idle their semis, and it's like it's such a waste of fuel, you know. Um, and that that Honda generator I have, I know it looks like. Uh, hey, how's it going, Ed? Yeah, it looks like uh, it does look like a real fire, which is pretty cool. It's like an LED flame thing, and. Um, yeah, we already had uh, Thanksgiving for Canada was last month. 
you guys have it a month later. So I'll be heading home tomorrow. I got myself a trip in the morning picking up. And I forget the name of this town. Something something city? Johnson City or Johnson Creek? Johansson Creek? I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. But, um, yeah, all I'm doing is running my Honda generator and a electric heater, and it's it's nice. I can home Saturday. Oh, sad for the week. Are you back expediting ice? Or are you, uh, what you doing? Yeah, it's so nice in here. Oh, I love that thing already. I was getting kind of worried, but it, uh, yeah, he's expediting. Cool, man. I'm glad you, uh, you got back at it anyways. You're, uh, you weren't doing it for a while. Oh, you got a, a 17 Pro Master. Oh, that's cool. Are you in the Zello, uh, channel at all? Or the Facebook page, Transportation Life? <coughs> Work for Tim's old company. Oh, okay, you're with VGS. And Ed, Ed, I got the same setup. You got electric heat, Ed, in Laredo? I don't think you need heat in Laredo. You need AC probably in Laredo. I got one of those too, but that's in my my van right now. Up on the, I put it up on the shelf for uh, later on. But I'll be I'll be putting that in this thing in the summertime. So it's uh, uh it's just sitting hot in Laredo. Yeah, you guys are off for a week, right? They shut down. VGS shuts down for. Uh, for a week during um, Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Uh, at least I remember. Uh, I remember Tim had that happen. La well, Tim said that they did that last year, and I think the same thing for Christmas. They shut down for a week, which is kind of that's different. I've never really heard of a company, an expediting or trucking company, shutting down, but. That's when they take their, the guys take their holidays anyway, so I guess they probably figured, you know what, we're going to get like one or two people working or something like that, so you might as well uh, shut down, I guess. Whatever. Hey, what's going on, v Vitaly? I hope I said your, your name right. And Blue uh, Ice likes his job, so hey, man, that's half the battle. You like... Uh, you like working there that's as long as you're making money and you're happy nothing else matters right that's the way I look at it but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna run inside this truck stop go grab myself something to eat I should really um, yeah I've, I've heard good things about about Steve uh, Tim and Alan talk really highly of him uh, you know I don't think he's ever done anybody wrong or anything like that so I've heard good stuff about them <laughs> Robert Robert GGX for life yeah you don't want to work for Gary he you know Gary won't won't put one of those in your your vehicle uh, greedy Gary will be uh, Green Gary will be walking around the truck stop stealing everybody's generators and heaters and you know pouring ice in their gas tank and he doesn't pay very well either you know he forgets to pay pay weeks on a Thursday Friday comes around still no money you call him he's screening your phone calls you know he's run into the casino blowing all his money Oh, I can't pay you this week. It'll have to be next month. And it just turns into a big thing. Don't work for Greedy Gary. He's horrible. He's a horrible guy. Horrible business owner. You know, he's a drunk. He's a, 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 you know, a gambler. Just horrible guy to work for. But, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm going to go run inside this truck stop. Some mom and pop type truck stop. And I'm gonna go grab myself some grub, and I gotta be up for 
my delivery or my pickup. <laughs> yeah, then he would rent it back to you. <laughs> That's funny. I just seen part of what uh, Paul said, the gatekeeper. Um, if you guys watch me, go watch Paul, uh, the gatekeeper on YouTube. Uh, he does construction and uh, pretty cool channel. I always enjoy his, his content. So if you're if you like my stuff, go watch Paul's. You'll enjoy it. Pretty cool, nice guy. But I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna run inside. I gotta feed. I gotta feed this guy. He's saying, "Hello, hello, Monsieur. I am hungry. Please feed me some Wisconsin cheese." We need to bring a bat and break his legs. I also know a guy that can dig deep trenches. <laughs> All right, Chris. All right, everybody. You guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, talk to you guys later. Bye for now.